Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from CheckIt.com here with an After Effects draw on everyone's second favorite day of the week, not Effects Friday. It's actually Wobble Fett Wednesday, Wobby Wednesday, Wonderful Wednesday. So many great suggestions I don't remember on the last tutorial. But anyways, guys, uh, let's see what we're creating today. Get to the tutorial, right? That's what you guys always tell me. But you know what? I'm going to talk for a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, I love talking to you guys. So... Uh, Humbet Lopez suggested, or really he requested, he kind of yelled at me, it was very offensive, I'm <laughs> just kidding, he said that he wanted to know how to use Magic Bullet looks, so, uh, you know, today I was out playing basketball with my friends, and, uh, on the way back we were gonna stop at Wendy's, and I saw this abandoned warehouse, and I was like, holy balls, I'm gonna park my car, and I'm gonna do a tutorial on Magic Bullet looks, that's my friend, <laughs> he didn't know he was in the shot, <laughs> uh, this is my new car, guys, um, it's not new or anything, but a drunk driver totaled my Celica. Oh, that's so sad. Bye, Sid. This guy is Carl. Yeah, I named my cars. Get off my junk. Anyway, um, I thought this looked really cool. Top Gear look was what I was going for. So uh, let's kind of get back to the tutorial, and I will teach you how I did this. This is actually with an iPhone camera, too. I just strapped an Olo clip on, and I took the shot. So uh, anyway, guys, um, this was requested by... Humbet Lopez right here. I, I'm pretty sure I already put his name at the beginning and talked about it, but I'm tired, so leave me alone. You guys will be needing Magic Bullet looks for this. Uh, you can get it at this address, and I will uh, link it in the description. If you are a student like Brandon and I are, it is only $200, and I highly recommend that you get it because it is so powerful. So, uh, yeah, I will include the TC Stance video and the Magic Bullet looks projects in the description so uh, go to our website and download those project files so anyways guys uh, leave a like leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video and now we can get to the tutorial so yeah sorry for that long intro but I love talking anyway you're gonna open up After Effects and you're gonna see that there's this blank canvas area over here let's double click and find the included TC stance video that I'm going to be you know, giving to you guys. And you guys may be saying that, uh, Eli, I want to use my own footage. Just go ahead, all right? I'm just providing this for the people that don't have iPhones or good cameras or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, drag and drop it down to this little icon down here to create a new composition. And uh, let's uh, apply looks to something. A lot of people just apply it to the actual clip. But what I like to do is I like to right-click, go New, Adjustment Layer, I like to hit enter, rename it, looks. And uh, you go up to your effects and presets, type in looks, and you will find it. It's right here. Click and drag it on to looks layer. And uh, here you have the edit button, but here's why I put it on an adjustment layer, okay? I can move this anywhere I want, and it will affect everything underneath it. If I just apply it to one layer, then it won't apply it to everything else. Uh, some people are going for that, but... For me, I like to have it affecting the other effects that I already put in. Like, let's say I put a flare in and stuff. I really want it affecting that. So, anyway, um, now that you have looks on the adjustment layer, you click edit. And you will see this really confusing looking new program. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be kind of intimidating at first. So, let's just start with the different layouts over here. So, you can go up to scopes, and this is how you can see all of the... Uh, I, I, here's your RGB lay. I, I don't know how to really explain this. I mean, if you want to get really detailed and you really want to have a grip over what you're editing, here's your hue and saturation. This is not how you edit things. This is how you view what you're editing. So you can tell that uh, I don't have many reds in this shot. Uh, I don't have many greens either, but I have a ton of blues. You see how much blues are in this? So, I mean, it's just a helpful tool saying, okay, you really need to tone it down on the blues. And I would agree. I mean, it was just shot on an iPhone, but, uh, you know, I don't have much control over the white balance or anything like that. But for an iPhone, it actually turned out pretty good. But anyway, you have your display window in the middle. It's displaying that one frame that you applied it to. You can go over to the left all the way, and it brings up all these options. Yours will probably be all closed up like this at first. Over here, it does the same thing, and you have all your layers down here. That's what I call them. 
Uh, it's actually kind of going through how a film process takes place. Like you have your subject, that's your first layer. You know, you would apply a color wheel on top of it and you would, you know, fix the problems with it. Like definitely too much blues in there. Then you can <laughs> go to these different layers like the camera options. Uh, with the camera, you can change the exposure and you can do contrasting and such, you know. And then you have your post, which is kind of exactly like camera, except it affects it differently. You can put um, other effects on top of it, too. So then you could put a contrast on top of it and stuff. But this is, uh, let's say you don't want these down here. You can click and drag down to get rid of it. You see that? Pretty cool, huh? Let's say that you want to see them before and after. You can click this little power button right here, and it turns off that layer. And I don't like anything that I did. I was just showing you. But, oh, yeah, go back up to scopes. And you see how I fixed all that? Now it's more of a flat image. You see that? That was all by eye, too. I'm so good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm going to click that off now because I don't care what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm going to click that again. So uh, I just tried to show you that um, you, know, you can apply different layers here. And that's basically how you edit. You can do your own editing. You can try to create your own effects. And a lot of people think that that's more of a better way of doing things but in my opinion and in my experiences I think it's better to start with one of these presets over here because there are so many great presets and you can you know find a look that you like and then you can edit that look by hand you see how they already put all these things here I mean it saves so much time and I mean if there's a specific look that you're going for yeah you know do it yourself but for me I've always used these and then I've adjusted it to the specific shots. So let's say that you want to see how this looks in a different frame or something in the video. So you go down to this bottom corner, this bottom right corner, you hit finished and it's applied now. You can drag over and see how it looks cool. <laughs> My friend Donnie over there. <laughs> so funny to me. Let's say now I want to see how it looks right here. Boom. Looks good. I can go back and edit that shot. And now the preview frame has changed. Isn't that cool? And now I guess I've kind of showed you the basics. The best way to practice this is to literally go in with a shot that you've never used before and just try to make it look cool. And it's not hard with Magic Bullet looks. I mean, look at all these awesome effects. It's insane. So this is what I used here. And I guess, uh, you know, you can go through all these and you can try to make something cool like art. Like, I, I love graphic novel. I think it looks awesome. I think I should recreate what I did in the intro. So what I did in the intro was I clicked Miami and I did this to kind of mimic Top Gear. And uh, I'm, I'm zooming out using the scroll wheel. And I'm just going to kind of edit this. The diffusion, I'm just going to turn up the size a little bit. Saturation, uh, I think I'm going to leave it the way it was. Curves, let's drag that down. Really raise that up, you know. Let's make a a more angled S curve, and uh, an auto shoulder just kind of gets rid of those clipped whites. It just smooths out the image and makes it look a million times better. So now let's hit finished and see how it looks. I mean, some of you guys might like how the other one looked. That's fine. Do it, you know, in your video. Actually, I probably should do something different so I have two different things. Sorry, I'm actually gonna use uh. <laughs> this one and it is a little uh, blue for my liking so I'm gonna go to subject I'm gonna go to three-way color restore. I'm gonna boom I'm going to just drag up you really just make the image more flat and maybe crank it a little more cool I'm gonna hit finish quick I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna let it Get the thumbnail. I'm just having fun over here, guys. Love this. I, I absolutely love Magic Bullet Looks. I could not recommend a better program. And I know $200 seems kind of steep, but it is worth every penny. All right, so size and grade. Just mess with it, guys. Turn up the glow a little bit. Viggy, this vignette is a little intense for my liking. So what I like to do is I kind of like to move it over to where my subject is. Okay, I like to you know turn that down a little bit. Cool. 
And this, uh, this gamma space right here, you can actually change the coloring if you want. I mean, if you want it more blue over there, if you want it more like yellowish over there. I actually want it a little, a little more towards the yellow side. Cool. More of a vintage -y look. Awesome. Range saturation, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to actually raise, or uh, crush the blacks a little more. That's not race, it's a color correction term. Cool. Oh man, that's looking awesome. And the auto shoulder, of course. And then hit finished. Sick, nasty. Oh, oh man, that's sexy. Oh, look at that, guys. So cool. And Tony over there again. <laughs> So guys, uh, that's the basics of Magic Bullet looks and also what's awesome about me teaching you this way is what I did was uh, I deselected or I clicked this eye off and then I'm going to add another adjustment layer. Where is it? Goodness, why can't I'm so tired right now. It's insane. It's 907. What? I'm like a old man right now. Goodness. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to call this DOF for depth of field cuz Guys, this was an iPhone camera. It looked like poo. So, I mean, okay, guys, the Magic Bolt looks tutorial is over now. I'm going to just make it look more pretty, okay? Just uh, full disclosure. So I'm going to type in blur over here. Camera lens blur, of course. It's my favorite blur. You guys all know that. Repeat edge pixels. I'm going to turn it up to like 8 because we don't play around. Okay, I'm going to go up to the ellipse tool. You might be on rectangular tools. Click and hold. Go down to the ellipse. Double click. Invert that mask. Drop down the menu, turn up the feather to 420 because we stoners. We stoners. No, we're not actually stoners. Don't do drugs, kids. Goodness. Seriously, it's so stupid. Wasting your life. All right. So I'm going to bring that in. Bring this up. Bring this corner over. Bring this down a little bit. Just to kind of, you know, create a fake depth of field here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I'm so sore. <clears throat> well, cool. Actually looks really good. Alright, so now I can turn back on Magic Bullet looks. <laughs> Look, this was from an iPhone camera. Oh my goodness. Looks so sick. Alright guys, so um, the the final remarks will be there will be a lot of stuck up people on YouTube that will say that you shouldn't start with those preset tools up here. And to that I say they are stupid and don't listen to them because it is awesome. And uh, if you just don't listen to other people and what they say, it'll always look awesome. And uh, you'll get your money's worth out of the program, I promise. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this kind of short tutorial. I hope I fulfilled your request. I forget your name already, but your name was at the beginning, so be happy. I did your tutorial, goodness. Alright guys, I will see you on Friday. Um, I have something kind of cool planned, so I hope you guys like it. And so, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to leave a comment and like the video, or I'm going to be so mad, I'm going to punch you. I won't really punch you, I love you guys. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Yeah.